Hey guys, this is Jackson. Uh, I am going to be making a small video tutorial for Visual Basic 6.0. If you want to follow along, I suggest you get Visual Basic 6.0 because if anything, I can't really give you any, any support for any other version. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, the first thing you had to do was start up Microsoft Visual Basic. And once you do that, you'll see a dialog that shows you like sort of programs that you can make. And the one we will be working with is standard EXC. It should be highlighted by default. So let's just press open and continue. Now we see this window. We have this blank window. And basically, this will be the GUI of our program that we will be coding. And this is basically just the form. Now this little window here, this is the project explorer. It'll list the forms you have, modules you have, and any custom controls you might use later on. And the properties you can basically um, change the type of border it has. Here where it says form 1, you can change that by changing the caption. Down here in form layout, you can basically move this little box around to where you wish and when it, when the application starts up that is basically where the window will be placed see how it starts up in the center or we could put it here in the corner and it starts up in the corner or if you want it to start up in the center screen you can come down here in the properties down to start a position and change it to center screen press the play button and it starts up in the center alright here on the left hand side you see a couple buttons if you've ever used paint which I'm sure most of you have you'll see like you'll have the brushes the pencil tool all that well anyways this is pretty much like that you have the buttons frames labels text boxes and so on anyways for this example we're just gonna make a hello world application and all we really need is an app is a is a button we just place a button, nice big button, resize the the form, make it like that, change the border style to fix a single. And now we have to change the caption so it matches our application. Hello world app change the button caption so that it matches our application say hi to the world and basically now all we need to do is code the event and what I mean by that is here let me show you when you click the button nothing happens when you move it nothing happens so basically we're gonna code the event that gets fired when the button is clicked and the easiest way to do that is to just double click on the button alright now we find a window here this is basically our coding window and here we see private sub command one underscore click two parentheses and end sub alright basically what this means is the the event click for this button for command one will fire off the event that we code in here so basically all we need to do is just code our event which will be a message box for that we, we can use the message box function which is message box space quotes hello world unquote we're done this is all you need to to make a hello world application now all I have to do is press play press on the button see now we have a little hello world app alright I know you've noticed here it says project one there's two ways to change that one way is um, through the message box function there is a argument to change the title 
of the message box or just changing or just saving the project under a specific name like hello world here let's save it if you didn't see I click file save project now I'm gonna go to my desktop and into my visual basic 6 tutorials directory into my hello world directory and just save the form how it is and save the project um the visual basic project file which is vbp -B <laughs> sorry which is vbp and change it to hello world save all right now let's go into our visual basic okay now we're here we have these two files but we don't have an executable simple fix all we need to do is go to file make hello world.exe click that click ok minimize that and now we have a little exe to share well that's really all I want to show you for now if you want you can play with the properties play with some of the controls see basically what they are but I will be showing you some of the, some of the controls like the timers the labels and text boxes and these two things are here the check box and option buttons I will be explaining these further along so if you want you can just wait for the next tutorial which I don't know depending how lazy I am it will come when it comes so until next time have a nice day time whatever and later